Mad Yogi Tribe, this is your Mad Yogi Eileen bringing you the third installment of our Mad Yogi Mini Flows. How many times did I say Mad Yogi there? <laughs> anyway, we are going to go straight into our Mini Flow, but I do want you to do at least two or three of our Sun Sanitation um, A Flows, which is available on our website. So please warm up. With your um with your sun salutation a first and then come and join me back here or if you're feeling okay why not jump into it now we are going to be using weights but i have gotten some feedback that they're saying oh i mean i don't have you know gym weights or equipment at home can you really use home equipment for for you know whatever we need yes we can so this flow we are going to be using weights, but I am using my favorite laundry, um, laundry liquid. I'm using two bottles, so just make sure that the items you use are of the same shape and weight, yeah? So, after your sun salutation A or any warm-up that you want, come to your mat, middle of your mat, you are facing the long horizon of your mat so if you mirror me a very early mirror but if you're mirroring me for this that's okay walk your legs apart big letter v or any um any stance distance that's comfortable for you yeah your hips are neutral your knees and feet and ankles are pointing approximately diagonally forward um i love vitruvian man yeah our favorite Vitruvian man pose. Grab your weights, making sure that you have a good grip on them though. That's the only thing when using um, household weights. Just make sure that you are able to grab them um, properly and securely. Bring the backs of your hands together, wave your arms up as you're waving the body up. And separate your hands, your hands here, your arms, are still the same distance as they would be if they were in plank, yeah? So same distance, just a little wider than your shoulders. Inhaling here. On an exhalation, adjust your stance as you need to. Bend your knees out to the sides. Yeah, you might want to widen or shorten your stance as you need to. Your right arm, bring your forearm on your hip crease. Left arm, I'm cueing my right and my left, yeah? But if you mirror me, that's fine too. Left arm reaches up, opening up your left side. Then push your arm to the right side. Your center, only your arm and your torso come into your lateral flexion. Inhale, squeeze the left side, the open side to lift. Right arm joins it back. Left arm, forearm on your hip, hip crease, right arm or lifted arm reaches up without hiking your shoulder towards your ear. You're just lengthening up, feel the length in your side as well. That's what we really want. Then push your head with or without your weights actually to the left side. If you find that the weights, whether those are um, gym equipment weights or home weights. If you find that you want to let go of them, just bring them down. Don't literally let go of them, yeah? Squeeze your right side to lift. Left arm joins it. Now we're going to twist. And always, when we twist, start from the base of the spine to your right side. From the pubis, navel, sternum and arms. Opening your arms out. Parallel, Allah warrior two, and head towards your back head, in my case, my right hand, or wherever your neck dictates as it's neutral. Yeah? Don't force your survival spine into your twist. Squeeze your arms to lift up and turn back to the center. Your knees are still bent, they've hardly moved. Twisting to the left side from the pubis, navel, sternum, and arms. Choose where your neck is happy with a twist or just neutral. Inhale, lifting up, back to center. From here, hands in, 
elbows press in, make an effort to press them in, lead with the crown of your head, forward fold, the knees are still bent, release your weights, just bring them out to the sides, but don't toss them away, yeah, unless you don't want to use them anymore, right hand, middle, between your feet, left arm, wave the, wave the arm up, don't hinge, stress of the shoulder, point your shoulder up, then your elbow, your twisting, then your wrist, and then your fingers. The spine also has that small twist. Exhale, left arm reaches out to the left side, bend the knees, swap it over. Right arm, shoulder up, elbows, wrists, fingers. And you're pushing through the length of your standing arm, into your shoulders, and out through your top fingers, exhale down, now from here, your right hand on your left knee, your left hand on your right knee, crossing your arms, adjust your stance as you need to, your knees are pushing out and you're holding on to them quite strongly, wave the body up halfway, then in and up, chest up, Head up, I'll see if I can look at the camera <laughs> this way. Now, let me just move my weights a little bit farther away so you can see my feet. Stay here if this is enough or lift your heels up. A lot more concentration, a lot more, it sounds oxymoronic, but a lot more demand for you to stay calm and trust yourself. And exhale, heels down. Release your hands from your knees, holding on to your weights, backs of the hands together, push strongly through your legs, Oof. unfurl them up, open up the spine, lengthening up, opening up the arms, lengthening up, and we're back into this pose. One more round. Knees bend, right arm down, left arm lengthens, Lateral flexion. Let's make this smooth. Inhale, lift up. Right arm up. Swap it over. Right arm. Lateral flexion. Bringing yourself into a lateral flexion. Inhale. Lifting back up. Both arms up. To your right side or mirror me. Fro twist from the pubis. Navel. Sternum and arms. Head. Inhale, lifting up, back to center, left side, pubis, navel, sternum and arms, head. Inhale, lifting back up, hands in, elbows in, lead with the crown of your head, forward fold, release your weights. Right hand middle, left arm, waves up, you're pushing through your arms, this time you're also pushing through your legs to lengthen them up, so all four limbs are nice and straight without locking your knees and elbows, give them a micro bend, exhale down, bend your knees once again, as you swap over your hands, right arm waves up, you're pushing through all three foundations, your legs and your standing arm, you're twisting the body, and you're reaching the top arm up. Exhale, release the pose, cross your arms, swap over which was the top, if you can remember, hold on to your knees as tightly as you can, and push your knees apart, you are tightening that bind in front of your upper chest. Wave the body up halfway, the spine up halfway, belly up, chest up, head up. And it's like your um, half lift. Stay if this is enough or lift your heels up. Quiet the mind, calm your emotions, contracting your muscles, smoothen your breath. And exhale, heels down. Release your hands from your knees, holding onto your weights. Backs of the hands together, push strongly through your legs, Oof. unfurl them up, open up the spine, lengthening up, opening up the arms, 
lengthening up and we're back into this pose. One more round. Knees bend, right arm down, left arm lengthens, lateral flexion. Let's make this smooth. Inhale, lift up, right arm up, swap it over, right arm, lateral flexion, bringing yourself into a lateral flexion. Inhale, lifting back up, both arms up, to your right side or mirror me, Fro twist from the pubis, navel, sternum and arms, head. Inhale, lifting up, back to center, left side, pubis, navel, sternum and arms, head. Inhale, lifting back up, hands in, elbows in, lead with the crown of your head, forward fold, release your weights. Right hand middle, left arm, waves up, you're pushing through your arms, this time you're also pushing through your legs to lengthen them up, so all four limbs are nice and straight without locking your knees and elbows. Give them a micro bend. Exhale down. Bend your knees once again as you swap over your hands. Right arm waves up. You're pushing through all three foundations, your legs and your standing arm. You're twisting the body and you're reaching the top arm up. Exhale. Release the pose. Cross your arms, swap over, which was on top, if you can remember, hold on to your knees as tightly as you can, and push your knees apart, you are tightening that bind in front of your upper chest. Wave the body up halfway, the spine up halfway, belly up, chest up, head up, and it's like your um, half lift. Stay, if this is enough, or... Lift your heels up. Quiet the mind. Calm your emotions. Contracting your muscles. Smoothen your breath. It helps in your balance. Don't hold the breath. Exhale. Heels down. Let the hands go. Let the head go. From here, strong hands. Pressing down, bring your legs in, Woo. and I'll just set myself back properly on your mat. Set yourself back properly on your mat, your head pointing to one short horizon of your mat. Untuck your toes, hands and fists, elbows close to your knees, stack your fists on top of each other, and rest your head. Deep full breath. Allow for that echoey sound of the breath to just resonate in that chamber that you've created under the body. From here, extend your arms forward with your elbows drawn in. Don't allow them to wing out. Draw yourself forward and down. And flip over. Just flip over. Moving my laundry detergent out of the way. Just flipping over. From here, curl your knees in towards your chest. Sacroiliac joint massage. If you are new to, to me, hi, my name is Eileen. <laughs> and um, this is our ending pose for all of my flows. Why? Because it's important to bring the SN joint back into equilibrium and it's really nice just to massage the back muscles and to reset the breath as well to neutral and from here bring your feet out to the edges of your mat relax your arms already in your shavasana palms facing up arms a little wider away from your body fingers wide but allow your fingers to just curl Naturally, I hope you can see my fingers there. Soft window wipes. They don't have to be very deep. The point is just to relax the leg muscles. We demanded a lot from them. Yeah, You'll feel it in your quads. 
So just soft window wipes as you incrementally walk the legs out until you come into your Shavasana. Inhale here. Exhale with a sigh. And just let your body melt into the mat. Put a blanket on you, by the way, if you want to, if you're feeling cold. And Shavasana. Well done on finishing your class. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, if you want ad-free premium versions of this class, the entire library of classes, not all of the channels are going to appear here on YouTube, and the course and workshop channels as well, and the workshop sheets, um, which some of which are exclusive to the Mad Yogi Club members. So come and join me on our website, madyogi.net, and I will see you in the next class. Bye!